So I got this team suggested to me by Sora. He wanted to see uh, now for me used with the little bit of healing provided by Elaine, and I think it's an interesting, uh, interesting thing to see. We also got the buff ceiling from Elaine, which could be useful against specific teams, but not really all that many. We're mostly going to be looking for the the healing that she provides on top of Tarmia Link, which could be great. And obviously, because she's blue, we get we get the damage reduction from Raftalia, which a lot of the teams that we do use for with uh, now for me we don't get the damage reduction because we don't end up getting blue units. Now he doesn't have any uh, he doesn't have any um, buff cards, so I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna focus up. And get the stacks for now for me in the first turn here. Now, if we want to do extra damage, right? So, Elaine's Relic provides us the debuff that allows us to do a little bit extra damage. How much is it again? I actually forgot to have checked before. Isn't it 10% when the enemy is shocked? Uh, 30%. Increases all enemies' damage taken while having shocks debuff by 30%. Oh, but she doesn't apply shock. Damn it. <laughs> it's King that applies shock, damn it. Okay, um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. We didn't get to see the healing this match because it was such a fast one. We'll, we'll do an next one. We'll do an next one. I wanted to kill the Meliodas because the Pierce card, but in high sight, I should have actually not killed him. So we would have got to see the uh, the increase, right? N next match. Okay, I actually just I ju just forgot what she did for a second. I read it really quick. She does provide the buffs. Um, the debuffs, I'm sorry. She does provide the debuffs, so if we do this, we will actually shock them. And... Let's go for Chandler. And do 40% uh, more damage by having a stance and 30% more damage by the enemy being shocked. Or not, because he had dodged, never mind. He had dodged, never mind. Uh, <laughs> he would have taken 30% more damage by, uh, by being shocked, right? Because, um... No. Why am I... F no. <laughs> Why am I forgetting what Elaine does? This thing is actually really good. Uh, they take 30% more damage by just having the flower debuff on them. And then they take another 30 by being shocked. I'm, I'm misremembering what she does. So if we do this, they're going to take plus 60% damage by just being debuffed, right? And then plus 40 from my, my character having the relic. Should we kill? No! Chandler double lowered me. Damn it. It's okay. But you see, we did a lot of damage for a team that had Chandler and 40% damage reduction because of those damage increases and stuff like that. My now for me only has one stack, right? But he still managed to do all that much. Um, okay, we should be okay. We're gonna stance up again, right? We're gonna ult, kill the Chandler. Or could... Would I get greedy saying I can kill Chandler with Raftalia? I think so. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. Let, let's just, let's just be more, uh, let's be more sure. I'll be getting too greedy, thinking I can actually kill Chandler with uh, Raftalia. Maybe I could, actually. Maybe I could. Yeah, that damage increase goes crazy. Again, 40 from the Relic, 30 from the debuff. Now, with all the damage increases, it would total up to a number of, like, plus 100%, but we know that's not actually how that uh, totals up. Because... Oh, perfect here. Perfect, perfect. We're gonna do this. Because um, how the game cal calculates defense, you don't actually get a concrete 100% increased damage, but it's around that. It's like 
It's more like 70 something percent. Okay. Uh, sure. No, no card for now for me, but that's okay. We're gonna be seeing the healing in real time for all three characters, which is great because this team is a very high DPS team. Well, when the when the <laughs> when the unit attacking has no gear, um, it gets pretty hard to see the effect of the healing because I don't take damage because the unit has no gear. So let's, since we're here, let's see this, and then move on. Only one stack. But not bad damage on Fila. I'm ignoring the Brynhilde because she has no gear. And that's good. For a level 1, that's good, I think. Yeah, this team is actually not bad. The only thing I'd be wor- what is this? What, what are these teams I'm facing? I'm playing at the- okay. I waited to record this at the peak time of players on JP, right? Uh, right now, it's reset time on JP, which if you play JP, you know that's the best time to play the game if you want to find real players, right? Um, if you want to rank up on PvP, if you want to like grind, you know, a ladder, you don't play at this time, you wait until it's like like 5 a.m. in Japan, in Japan, and then you face like no players. Um, but Kusok wasn't a hype enough character for people to give it a try, so it's like, uh, um, sure. Let's get her ultimate. Why not? Since we're here, anyways, I might as well get Ling's ultimate. Since we're here. Ooh, that was pretty good. You know, they have Valenti. And my um, my attack still did pretty decent. Does the shock last... How long? Is it only one turn? Okay. Thank you for not using a king card. That's very appreciated. Um, we're gonna increase damage for... Yeah, it's only one turn. We're gonna increase damage for that ultimate by having a stance. There's a uh, Valenti there, so we're not going to do the most, but it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. And then now we can finish it off. They're shocked now, so you're also going to take extra damage from being shocked, which is good. Can I get a, a, a real player? Okay, a Reinhard. With Slater. That boy is gonna do damage to my now for me. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. So come on. Let me let me see that healing from Elaine's blue card. Let's see, let's see. It's actually good. There's nothing Elaine is doing here that gets restricted by the fact that her passive like only shocks when you attack with fairies because she can trigger home. She can trigger her own passive, right? Okay, that was more like it, that was more like it. One more time. One more time. Let's see you do that one more time. And hopefully you guys stance next turn. Okay, full heal? No. Nice. One more time, let's get f at least four stacks here with now for me. At least four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, true, true. Attack twice, attack twice. Okay, well. Let's see this like, at the very least. We're gonna be debuffing them. To do more damage, 60% more damage, plus obviously stance. I know he'll dodge! Oh well. Goddamn dodge. We still did the plus 30 from her own passive. No stance, no debuff for Naofumi. That's what I like to see. That's a real Naofumi turn right there. That's a recognizable Naofumi turn if I've ever seen it. Okay. Um, hmm.
Can we kill? Uh, can we kill Twigo? We're gonna do this, this, and this. So we're gonna be increasing damage on Twigo. We don't have a stance, which would increase our damage significantly, but it is what it is. Oh, I missed the crit. Still kill, pretty good. Pretty good level one. So the damage on um, Ryan Howard is significantly weakened. And we did get a stand, so we get to see uh, Elaine's ultimate again. Good damage, good damage. We're gonna be um, stancing. I'll, I'll, I'll attack with Elaine first. Apply shock. And then ult. So we can ha we can give her some uh, some moment to shine here, because that would be the most damage she would do here. With the stance for damage increase. And the enemy shocked. That's the most she's gonna do today. Not bad. You know, this actually... Again, everything Elaine does... Works. Her damage increase works. It's not like she increases attack, right? She increases damage. So it actually... The synergy with the team is actually kind of crazy. I'm surprised no one but Sora has thought about this. I did not think of using a lane. Um, oh my god. A single real player, bro. Are you kidding me? I'm, su I'm surprised no one else has thought about this. Because it's actually very good. Okay, we're going to get the healing. Not that it matters because we're going to take no damage. I would wait to record this, but I need to record like 15 videos today. I'm going to be out for a week. I'm, I'm leaving, to, by the time I'm uploading this, I'll already be in America. For like this convention. With Speedy and whatever. Right? And I, I'm, I'm going to record like 15 videos in two days. Okay, we're actually taking damage. Uh, and the healing was useless because, you know. He sealed my healing on the second attack. Oh, there's not. This isn't. This is a bot, but he has good gear, so that's good. Because we're gonna be doing this, and we're gonna increase damage. And let's see the level one. Unfortunately, level one. But let's see the now for level one here. For a level one now for me, that's pretty good. The. De Okay, Reftile, you're gonna die, so... Um, the damage increase was actually pretty significant. I'm surprised it's not stunned. Maybe she's not gonna die, actually. Oh, she's gonna get stunned! Bro, please kill her! <laughs> it would've been a, a stun, actually. If it was a real player. Because... You know, Philo gets guaranteed stuns, if you're unaware. Philo has guaranteed stuns. Okay. Bro, Reftalia! Can you... <laughs> can you calm down? Alright, Philo, relax. Philo's getting the same cards as Reftalia. Clearly. All that was just for you to die, Reftalia. All of that was just for you to die. Uh, bro, now for me has the worst card rates in the game. In the game. I swear he does. It's because his cards are so powerful. Right? His cards are the most powerful cards in the game. So obviously the game has to balance it and make him have the worst card rates in the game. It only makes sense. Kyo's cards are shit. So he has amazing card rates, right? My 6-6, six, six, uh, Philo, my 6-6. Six, six. I'm just gonna end it here. I, I'm gonna win this, because I, I, I can't bear losing Shimano Green with Nafumi. Um, it's just gonna take forever, so. Elena's good. Further testing will be done eventually, when I'm maybe like in two weeks. But she's good.